Hey guys, it's me Andrew again, your favorite Canadian YouTuber, hey? And well, guess what? I'm about to do a reaction video to Sands vs. Bill Cipher. Hmm. And before I know, but before I uh, talk about the battle, I'd like, I'd like to tell you guys something. I went to a thrift store today. Uh, what's the name of the store? I think it was Tally's or something. Hmm. Hmm. Well. See, I actually found something pretty unusual and creepy there. You see, when I was at the section filled with all these really fun, child-friendly board games, I found something that's that was hidden buried underneath all of them. It was a discarded VHS tape with no case. It was The Exorcist. <coughs> yeah, creepy, huh? Imagine that, uh, that old horror movie just lying there buried underneath all those child-friendly games. In a way. This actually feels like one of those creepy pasta things. Huh. I actually, I actually made a little video about it, and uh, we'll, we'll try and post it when I can. Mind in the video, I, I said the store is called Wow. Uh, I, I, like literally, the name of the store is Wow. Really, I think this, the name of the store is Latiz or something, the thrift store. So really, I'm actually confusing it with the name of some dollar store that was standing next to it. It happens, just let you know that when and if you see the video. Which one I ever post first, this one or that one. Alright, now talk about the fight. Uh, I I don't know that much about Sands yet. Uh, I can tell he's pretty powerful. <laughs> now, uh, I haven't seen a lot of Undertale gameplay. I'm, s I'm still in the middle of watching Jacksepticeye's Undertale gameplay. Hopefully I'll know more when I'm done watching. Or maybe this video will just tell me more about him right now. Although, s someone has told me that uh, Stans may actually have a chance. They seem to have really done their research on him, and they say he has the power to reverse the invincibility frame. You know how um, Bill Cipher's only weakness is uh, if he gets his physical form, all, all is lost? Well... If he gets his physical form, which is invincible and unbeatable, Sans can reverse the invincibility frame, and, uh, well, he's, Bill's no longer invincible. Bill having a physical form, no longer invincible? Sans just might be able to physically kill Bill. <laughs> See what I did there? Never mind. <coughs> so, yeah. That's, uh, of course I could be wrong. And then to see what happens. I got a feeling it's going to be epic. And weird. <laughs> I wonder if Saints will pull that good dog tone move on him. Right, let's find out. Alright. <coughs> so yeah. I really wasn't expecting this fight. When I saw Bill Cypher at the end of, uh, of Bobo vs. Wreck and Rel. I thought I was going to play Discord in the rematch. <coughs> Alright, let's do this. Sans is shown to be very good at 
up to that. Job and taking breaks often. He enjoys making bad, skeleton-related puns. I know. Although the fact that Gotta he performs at MTT Resort hints that he may, in fact, be a talented comedian. He likes Maybe. science fiction and loves to drink ketchup. In addition, what? he hates making promises. The reason behind Sam's laziness is shown to be, in fact, apathy and fatalism. He wonders if his indolence stems from his knowledge of the fact that any progress he makes will be erased abruptly as soon as the timeline resets. Although he dismisses it as an excuse for being lazy, Sands is shown to be able to move exceedingly quickly and teleport through his frequent True. use of shortcuts, as he calls them. In battle, he shoots what appears to be a type of laser beam using gaster blasters, a device resembling a goat or dragon skull. These also bear similarities to the DT extraction machine found in the true lab. Sands' most effective tactic in his arsenal is his ability to remove his opponent's invincibility, which can quickly That's what I'm talking about. amount of damage to his opponent. In addition, he has an effect known as karmic retribution. With the health bar empty over time after the initial hit deals damage. Zan always claims that he has a special final attack. Now, here's the major Zan spoiler alert. His final attack is literally nothing and not ending his turn, preventing the player from accessing the menu and hoping for the player to become bored as time flies. After several minutes in dialogue, Zan will eventually fall asleep, allowing the player to push. Is it going to get dunked on thing? Sam will wake up and dodge the first attack. However, the cursor is still on the fight button, and the protagonist automatically attacks, instantly finishing him for good. Unlike most enemies, however, he starts to quote-unquote bleed, which is presumed to be catching. Then lifts off screen before dying, raising the player's love to 20. Overall, Sam is a lazy skeleton who loves bad jokes and puns. His most powerful attacks consist of karmic retribution, this effect removes invincibility frames and That's what I'm talking about. consistent damage input as well as adding a poison effect that has the same I and V benefit. In other words, thanks to the magic of karma, Sand will make you pay for your sins. Moving on from Only bad bills. puns to bad yes. triangles, let's talk about Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher has been on Cartoon Fight Club before. Last time he was on here, he fought Discord. In that battle, we saw the two reality warpers duke it out in a fight to the finish. Bill Cipher was able to turn this into the power with the power and use of his weird magnetic. Bill Cipher is a fourth dimensional dream demon with the I know, I know. power, control, and weirdness. Because we already yes. talked about Bill's basic attacks and abilities in his first appearance, for this episode, we will focus mainly on his strongest move and use of weird mechanics. Let's give no, one thing out of the much way. For no one in the whole universe knows how to kill Bill Cipher except for one person. Stanford. And that is Stanford Pine. Stanford is the only one who knows Bill's weakness. That being said, this proves two things. One, this proves that Bill Cipher can, in fact, be defeated in battle. And two, it proves that Bill Cipher is a really tough opponent because Sans the Skeleton has no idea what Bill's weakness is. Only Stanford Pine knows. No. Bill Cipher is a reality warper, which means he can literally warp and change the appearance and laws of reality, physics, time, space, and existence. Yeah, I know. With his physical form, as Stanford Pine states, all hope is lost. This is because without knowing Bill's weakness, he is practically unstoppable. In his physical form, he was able to defeat the nine omnipotent time baby. Yes, we know that. You told us before. Class. The time baby yeah. weighs so nine trillion me. tons. The firepower needed to blast nine trillion tons of weight would need to be at the very least 750 megatons. Yes, of force, I do remember that. Which is equivalent to 15 nuclear bombs. Also, don't forget, Bill was hardly even trying. He could casually cause larger amounts of destruction and damage. Bill is not one who believes in rules. Instead, he follows his own philosophy, which means doing whatever he wants without care for the consequences. He yeah. thinks of laws and physics as senseless and displays irresistible urge to break those rules down by causing 
causing absolute chaos whenever he can. The lives he ruins hold no merit to him, and he finds amusement in tormenting and turning people's world upside down. He also sees reality as something not important to him, and he also enjoys destroying it as well. Overall, yeah, I know. Bill Cypher is an eccentric, insane, and physically dangerous dream demon who enjoys making things weird as possible. As Stanford Pine states, if Bill gets a physical form, all hope is lost. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle is going to take place in the final corridor, giving Sans the home court advantage, but there is no prep time. Also, quick note, Bill Cypher does have weird Mageddon, so when the episode gets weird, don't say I didn't warn you. Let the battle begin. Well, that's why it's called Weird Mageddon. Ready? Alright, let's do this. Hey, Brain Dead, wake up. You're the one they call Sans, right? Huh? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I am quite the comic. Who does these voices? No, no. I've been a trap for four trillion years to hear jokes like this. Let's get down to business, punk. That was a lot more serious. You do have a phone with it. It's a good thing nothing gets under my skin. Okay there, fatty. I was going to be on you, but after hearing that, I'm going to finish you and finish you quick. So say goodnight, fat so. Whoa, 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 fat. I'm not fat. I'm just big bone.
吃饭啊。这是他
no idea what Bill Cipher's weakness is. So if you want to see a rematch with knowing Bill Cipher's weakness, then you know what to do. Count How would he know his weakness? Word rematch. And if this Stanford episode go down there, go down there, go down there comments, just like there Frisk and tell him. Match that will cap off who would win with for Bill Cipher's weakness being thrown in. Also, don't forget to comment down your ideas for a future to do that, like, uh, Stanford would have to uh, they jump they down the hole and go right to Sam to tell him. Stay tuned because then he probably have to go through everything Frisk went through in order to get out. Oh, uh, I I think this is the three on three between uh, Team Dolan and Team Freddy. Wait, who is it? Yikes! Is that the uh, oh, purple guy, huh? Who is he fighting? Jeff the Killer? It's Jeff the Killer. I think I suggested this once. Sense. They're both the queens of the art of war. 
And, uh, it's technically, it would actually be the very first battle of, of a series between a Skylander and an Amiibo. So that makes sense, right? I think it depends, depends on, a, on a, like, is the battle going to take place in the uh, Ink Battle Arena from Splatoon? If uh, Splat summons her vehicle with Splash Flasher, they become supercharged. Splat will be practically unstoppable. So, guys, it depends. Well, those my action to this. To, well, uh. That's all I have for you today, guys. Bye. Hey.